Hello, Tim Sykes here. It is the fourth day, fourth night of Hanukkah 2016. Happy holidays to you all, no matter what holiday you celebrate. I'm Jewish, as you can hear with my congestion, and we're celebrating Hanukkah. I'm giving you one present per day for the next eight nights. Uh, today, we're going to go over a gimme pattern that has been working so well in this recent market. The market has been open for roughly one hour. Uh, as I'm filming this, and I have locked in roughly $1,500 in profits. Um, but let me just review for a quick second what you've got in the past few nights. If you go to timothysykes.com, you can see um, some of these recent Hanukkah presents. I dressed up as Hanukkah Harry, and I've been giving out presents. Uh, the first night of Hanukkah, we gave you a 50% off deal. For Wolf Millionaire, and that is if you want to learn how to make six or seven figures using Instagram, which I think that you should because, you know, it's there and you're probably on Instagram or any social media. You can use your social media to actually make money even if you don't have a lot of followers. This 50% off deal is the first time that we're having this sale. Uh, we have a 20-hour plus guide on Instagram uh, for Wolf Millionaire. So if you use that 50% off deal, that was Hanukkah gift number one. Hanukkah gift number two was a free one-hour webinar uh, with Mark Crook, who just passed $630,000 in profits. And it's a great webinar reviewing one indicator that many of you are forgetting, which is volume. And you should always consider volume when making trades. Uh, Hanukkah gift number three was the top three stocks that I was watching uh, for today. And we'll go over those in a second. They did decently, nothing huge. Um, but it's better than nothing. And now today we're going to go over this pattern that is a gimme. Um, I, I, I really don't understand why some of you are not taking advantage of this pattern. It's either because you're not prepared, uh, you don't know it, or I, I just, I don't understand it. You know, every time I see this pattern, a little green light goes off in my head and it's like, okay, the odds of profiting are very good. Basically, um, well, first, let me show you what the, the trades were today. Also, I should mention we have this holiday sale on Profitly, 30 40 50 60% off newsletters, 30 40 50 60 70% off DVDs. Take advantage. You have just a few days left uh, until the new year. And then also, this trader checklist guide, we're getting down to crunch time. You have four days left to watch it in its entirety. This will be a $500 DVD next year, as it should be. And I'm also working on adding nine extra hours. So it's going to be a 20-hour guide. But right now, you can watch all 11 hours for free. If you go to TraderChecklist.com, you enter your name, you enter your email, you watch the damn thing. Get knowledge. Get prepared. It's totally free. It's crazy to me that you guys aren't watching it. But I can't force you to study. I can only show you the patterns. Uh, CARA was my over the weekend long I made. A few hundred. I was in in the 980s, out in the low 10s. What's it at now? Still in the low 10s. You know, this has been a, a big, big problem area for this stock. You know, ever since uh, back in October, 990, 10-ish has been a problem. And technically, it's a breakout. But as I said when I was selling it uh, around 1010 this morning, it's just not a definitive breakout. So. You know, it did get up for a brief moment, one shiny moment to 1023, where it looked like it could really, you know, spike, but it couldn't hold it. I mean, I made 20, 30 cents a share. It's not the end of the world, but it's just nothing huge. Um, a better trade and a better pattern is this, where I made uh, roughly 15% on NDEV, dip buying the morning panic. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the strongest stocks and I'm specifically waiting and not chasing. If you guys read my watch list today, which you should be doing every day, but many of you are not, I specifically said NDEV is overextended. Okay, so I don't want to chase an overextended stock. But if it dips, then by all means, yes, this will be a good, you know, dip buy. This is a perfect breakout here above 60 cents a share. So ideally you want it to dip as close to 60 cents as possible because then theoretically 60 cents should hold and then maybe it'll come back to the 70s, 80s, even 90s. 
And that's almost what happened today. We got a nice morning panic because it was so overextended and it dropped really from 95 cents straight to 73 cents. And I caught the bottom as I have been doing. Let me just show you this pattern in case you don't realize it. Um, here is HADV. This was a recent dip buy when it crashed from four down to three. Very similar, right? When the market opens, you have stop losses going off and the bounce is, is very quick. HADV doesn't matter anymore, but at the time of the dip, uh, what am I doing with this? It was a strong stock, okay? So it was uptrending, 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 and when you get that big crash, yes, you want to dip by it. Some of you in chat are like, Tim, but it's just the first red day. Don't you want to short the first red day? You want to short the first red day into the market close for the probable morning panic on day two. But if you get a big panic right up front where stop losses are going off, exactly like NDEV, and the stock is still a strong stock, you want to dip by that panic. HADV is just one example. Uh, there was also, what was it, CATQ. CATQ was a perfect one. Look at this bounce. It dropped from 2.4 down to 1.3, back to 2.4, and this is all before you know noon in one day, okay? And it's not always like straight down and straight up. This one was actually choppy near the bottom for a little bit before it got into its uptrend. Um, and then there was another one, uh, CNAB, CNAB, there we go. Same kind of morning panic from 2.6 down to 1.5, and I caught the bottom on this one too. It's not magic, okay? The key is studying the past. The key is preparing. I have this video lesson that I linked, and this was from November 9th. So a little less than two months ago. And this was the same pattern on CNAB. How I made a thousand plus dip buying CNAB. Okay, today I made a thousand plus dip buying NDEV. It's the same fucking pattern. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Here's another video from the past that many of you aren't watching. Okay, I made 20% on CATQ and I didn't time any of these perfectly. Today, I actually tried to be more patient, so when I got the bounce all the way up to 90 cents, which was best case scenario, I didn't even take it because I was like, you know what? I always sell too soon. Let me give this more time. And of course, this one is the one where you, sh you shouldn't have had patience. So it's not an exact science, but you dip by the strong stocks when they panic so quickly. I'm not interested in them in the afternoon. I'm not interested in them tomorrow. I'm interested in that first panic because that opens the door to opportunity on the bounce. And in the past two months, there's been half a dozen examples, okay? And I didn't even take advantage. What was that other one the other day? Uh, MJPI, I believe. And MJPI is tanking today. So once it keeps tanking, then I'm not interested. But that first dip by, I'm interested. Here was the panic on MJPI. MJPI, for those of you who don't know, has been a very strong stock. So you had that first, first sign of panic. And guess what? When it panicked the other day, and it dropped from 480 down to 240, it actually was a nice little dip buy back to four. Actually had two panics. This one is scary, I didn't even touch it. But it dropped all the way down to 270, came back to 420, panicked again down to 240, jumped back to the fours and then came down. But you have two panics to dip by. All you have to do is buy panic, dip by panic. But you also don't want to just try to catch a falling knife, okay? So don't just buy anything that's panicking. You have to see signs of it bottoming. And NDEV, I mean, first of all, yesterday on, on Friday, the last trading day, it also panicked down to 70 cents. And that's why I use 70 cents as my risk because there was already an intraday panic from 87 down to 70 before it went back up on Friday. So I thought that 70 cents would hold. As it turned out, 73 cents was holding um, because frankly, this was just too much too soon. And now here we are, you know, it's at 82 by 83. 
So we're on this one, it's not like a $2 stock or a $4 stock where it drops a dollar a share. But you can see clearly that there was 10, 15, 20% to be made if you timed it perfectly. But you have to be prepared ahead of time. You can't wait for alerts. You can't wait for other people. You have to be studying my watch list. You have to be studying my past video lessons. You have to know this pattern and understand where the support is. I saw one guy in chat saying, hey, I was thinking about buying it, but I, I was trying to figure out the risk reward. You have to know that on Friday, the previous day, it had a panic right here at 70 cents. You have to know that going into today. This is why I make this watch list every single day. You think I like making these watch lists? These are a pain in the butt, and I do it right before I pass out. So I'm sorry some of them have typos, but I have crazy, crazy work schedules these days, and I want to get you these tickers ahead of time so that you're prepared. And when I'm saying that you're prepared, I'm thinking that you're looking at where is support and resistance? Where should I potentially dip by? So I knew going into today that 70 cents a share was an important dip buy. And I'm actually working on the nine plus other hours of trader checklist right now. So I actually made a video yesterday talking about NDEV. So when you guys watch the follow-up to trader checklist, the, the next nine hours, you'll see how I was specifically preparing for a potential dip buy today. I'm kind of glad that I was doing that uh, DVD last night too. So you'll see exactly how I was prepared because that is the key to success. Preparation ahead of time. I know you don't want it. I know you just want the hottest stocks and that's what every hot penny stock trader thinks is the key to success. It's not. It's preparation and studying the past. In this video lesson that far too few of you are watching, I linked this great video or this great blog post by Ray Allen, one of my favorite basketball players, a letter to his younger self. And he talked about how he's won multiple NBA championships and the teams were very different, very different players, personalities, but all of them were practicing hard, okay? Many of you guys just come into the markets, you're like, what's hot, what can I trade, what can I trade, what's, what's moving? And you're not doing any work in the off season. In the off season for the stock market is the weekend, at night, long holiday weekends. Some of you have full-time jobs in school. You're like, Tim, I can't trade that much. I have a busy schedule. Who said anything about trading at first? You need to study first. And we all have nights free, weekends free, time free that you don't have to use the fucking Xbox or Netflix or go out or work out or hang out with friends. There's plenty of time in your life that you can study. So don't give me that bullshit that you don't have time to study. Everybody has time to study. The problem is many of you guys simply aren't doing it because you don't realize that that is key to your success. And I'm telling you again and again, it is. I don't make 4,000 video lessons for the fun of it. I don't sound like shit for the fun of it. It's because I've been working hard preparing you with all of these materials so that you can be prepared ahead of time. And a lot of you guys are getting it, you know? And that's cool, but some of you just aren't. Anyways, that's today's lesson. I'm up 1,500. NDEV was my big winner. Please, please, please watch my trader checklist guide. You know, I can't force you to study, but I can remind you that in four days, it'll be a $500 DVD. And even then, it'll still be undervalued. But right now, it's the value of the century for free. Um, and then also take advantage of these guides that are, that are you know, 30, 40, 50, 60% off. Please study ahead of time. Even if you're not trading in the day, that doesn't necessarily mean you can take the day off. Uh, I wish I could get through to more of you guys. But, you know, 90% of traders lose. It's due to the lack of preparation. All I can try and do is tell you and prepare you for what you actually need to be successful. I want more millionaire students, but this is a, you know, a two person game. I can't just give you a million dollars and be like, oh, you're my new millionaire student. It doesn't work like that. It's not about the money, it's about the knowledge. So study up. You can clearly see that you have these watch lists that prepare you. You have these video lessons 
that prepare you. All you have to do is sit there and watch and take notes and somehow get it inside your brain so that you're ready. Anyways, that is your fourth Hanukkah present, the go-to gimme pattern that is right now. You simply look for a hot stock that has been running for multiple days or weeks and you wait. You don't chase it. You wait for a dip buying opportunity and you see it happens and you can make 10, 20, 30% very quickly inside of an hour or two if you're prepared ahead of time. Shalom. I'll be back tomorrow with the fifth night of Hanukkah's present. You're going to like it. All right, just wanted to do a quick follow-up video before I sent out your fifth night of, your fourth night of Hanukkah present. I don't even know anymore. Um, but CARA is now breaking out nicely. This is what I wanted to happen at the market open, uh, this kind of morning spike that it had on Friday. And it just happened to be a delayed morning spike. And I talk about this pattern a lot. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm out. I've already taken my profits. You know, I locked in my $500 in profits, which would now be, uh, what would I be up? 60 cents a share. It would be over 1000 bucks. Um, it happens. And it's not to say that I'm a bad trader. It's not to say that I'm, I'm so angry that it went up after I got out. I'm actually very happy that I was on the right track. I take validation from the fact that these stocks are doing what I thought they would do maybe not in the exact time frame that I wanted or expected, but it's still breaking out, you know? CARA for several weeks has been teasing and flirting with this $10 a share limit. And I was there, frankly, the day that it broke out, even though it didn't break out in the right way that I wanted, even though it actually had a morning panic when it failed to break out near the market open. Uh, I was on the right track. And that's what this game is all about. So many of you get so like discouraged if a stock does what you want after you're already out. And you're like, oh, I lost 50 bucks or I lost 200 bucks and then I could have made 500. I suck. I hate this game. Instead, start understanding that, wait a minute, in a different day, on a different world and maybe a different market environment, maybe if I was a little more patient, I could have had a much bigger win. But as it stands, it didn't do what I wanted. I stuck with my rules. I stuck with my position saying, hey, I'm going for a morning spike. If it doesn't get it, I'm out. And I took my small profits. And then also NDEV. This one keeps going up now too, okay? And I thought that it would keep going, but I wasn't really sure. You know, it, it bounced and then it came down and I was kind of in the sideways zone. So I took safe profits. I made a thousand bucks. So you can see here, I made 1500 If I was still holding both of these, uh, let's see, I'd be up another like 600 and like another 700 So I could be up, you know, 1300 more. So I could be up, uh, what, 1300 I could be up uh, 2800 right now on the morning if I waited an extra hour. As it stands, I made 1500 Boo hoo! Boo hoo, I'm crying. I don't care if I could potentially make 2,800 and I only lock in 1,500. This is best case scenario. Very rarely do you see these kinds of you know, mid-morning, uh, midday spikes, but we're seeing it you know, play out rather well. And this, I don't look at as a negative. Again, I look at this as validation. My dip buy on NDEV, looks even better. My whole focus on CARA looks even better. Some people are like, Tim, why are you even bothering with a $10 stock? Oh, you made 20 cents, it's not even worth it. Well, now it's 70 cents from bottom to top, and you know I was on the right track. So hopefully you can see what I'm seeing, you know, uh, and maybe that'll inspire you to study more and, and kind of take the same kind of mindset and adopt the, the, the mindset that I have because I think it's very useful. I'm looking for validation all over the place. Remember, I'm a scientist. You're a scientist, okay? You go in, you perform the experiment, you have a thesis of how it's gonna play out, and then you see, and you change the experiment little by little. You know, maybe next time I'll hold CARA a little longer. NDEV, I actually did try to hold and it cost me this time. 
but I held not long enough. So I'm experimenting, I'm tinkering, and the cool thing is that unlike scientists where you know they're tinkering with their bunts and burners and they're testing out different stuff and they're they're not getting anywhere sometimes for years. With this game, you can experiment and tinker and you make money doing so. Maybe not even in the beginning, maybe you're you're losing a little, but eventually, year one, year two, year three, by far, you should be making a little money even if you're not capturing all the profits. And I'm in nearly year 20, and I'm still not capturing all the potential profits, but at least I'm on the right track. You can see that with nearly every single trade. Even if I'm out too early, the stock does somewhat what I expected, and, you know, that's beautiful. So I love it. Happy Hanukkah, and I will be back with Day five's presence tomorrow. But enjoy Day 4. This is a reminder that these patterns work very well. All right, just one more follow-up to my earlier video lessons because now NDEV is spiking all the way up to the 130s, okay? Let's just do the math here. I bought this. Let me see. Hold on one second. Let me find my trade. I was buying NDEV, I think, at like 73 cents, if I'm not mistaken. 74 cents, yeah. So I'm in at 74 cents. It's now at a buck 33. Let's just do the math here for a second. So this is now an 80% winner. Even more now, it's, it's going to go up to 138 as you can see. This is an 80% winner on the day. And granted, I took, you know, a 14% slice of it. And part of the reason why I'm bringing this up is not like, oh, I was so right. I knew this was going to go to a buck 30. I had no idea, okay? If I thought that it was going to go up this much, I would have held longer. This is the best case scenario when you're dip buying an uptrending stock. That is the beautiful thing about buying an uptrending stock, okay? I'm not dip buying junk. A lot of you guys like to dip buy junk. Stocks that, you know, like EVOK where it's just, well, the 100-day doesn't really show it. But over two years, I mean, it's it's gotten down a lot. And this is what a lot of you seem to like to do because you think, oh, it's a good deal. It's like buying a sweater 80% off at Macy's. It's the same damn sweater. As I talk about in-trader checklist, which you should have watched by now, this is a bad sushi example. When a stock drops 60, 70, 80, 90%, it is no longer that same fine sweater at Macy's or whatever. You have to understand that a stock, when it drops that much, is a different animal. No longer is it a quality company to buy. So when I'm dip buying, I would greatly prefer to dip buy a play like this, which by the way now, hold on, just look at this, this is live. It is now at 145, 147, <laughs> 147 minus 0.74. One point four seven minus point seven four divided by point seven four. It is a hundred percent winner, especially now at one point four eight. This is a hundred percent winner, and it looks like it's topping at a hundred percent winner from my dip buy. So I'm not saying hold this this whole time. I'm not saying that this is predictable, but I did dip buy an uptrending stock. And when you dip by an uptrending stock, this is what's possible. This is best case scenario. But this is freaking awesome. And I congratulate every single one of you who dip bought this morning panic, which looks so bad. And the bounce, you know, this looked like a big bounce. And now in the grand scheme of things, it's nothing. So pretty awesome. This is why I love penny stocks. Nowhere else in the whole fucking world of finance can you make 100% in a day on your trades. Obviously, I only captured a very small portion of this, but this is why I'm a teacher, not a hedge fund manager, not a prop trader. My own personal performance is not what matters the most here. I'm judged more by how you guys do. And if you dip by these kinds of uptrending stocks, even if they're sketchy, like this one is, you can be rewarded very nicely. Whether you make 15%, 
or 50% or 100%. This is it. And I'm glad, you know, I've delayed this video lesson and now we've posted three parts so you can see the potential. And it keeps going. It doesn't even stop. Look at this. This is just beautiful. And the cool thing is that this is probably also due to a short squeeze. Every time I buy a stock, there are some people who think that I'm full of shit. And so they short anything that I buy. And I guarantee you that some of my haters are shorting this and getting crushed. So feel free to trade however you want. All I'm going to continue to do is show patterns that I've worked. Uh, I've seen work. And, and I've you know managed to trade all these years. And you can do whatever you want. But I'll tell you, if you bet against these patterns more times than not, you will lose. And if you learn these patterns, and whether you make 15% or 50% or 100%, you will win. And that is why, frankly, I have the most millionaire students. That's why it's laughable that I have these critics. But I enjoy these critics. And I thank you guys because for those of you who do bet against me and you create these short squeezes, my students thank you too. Because without you betting against me, this kind of a short squeeze wouldn't happen so quickly. So thank you to everybody. And to all, a good night. My name is Tim Sykes, and I teach people to trade stocks. I am a self-made multimillionaire. So this is the ideal trade that I'm going to talk about. I want you guys to understand every single aspect of this trade. 